Right everyone, what is going on? Buster Barnes here, bringing you my match preview for Chelsea's home game against Newcastle United. The game, which is a lot bigger than maybe some would give it the credit for being, in the context that if we do win this game, we will hop Liverpool into the top four and only be four points away from second and third place. So a big game for us to make some ground and get to a place where a lot of us expect us to be. Massive game for us. As you know, um, I did not upload to my review slash recap of our game against Barnsley. A fairly dull game. Sorry I didn't get to it, guys. But I will be going over that game when I talk about the team news for this match, when I talk about my predicted lineup and my predicted scoreline as well. So do stay tuned for that. My review for this game will be up after it does commence as well. So do stay tuned as well as leaving a like and subscribing would be much appreciated to the channel for all things Chelsea FC. But if I do nevertheless get into the team news, Thiago Silva still unavailable. I believe Kai Havertz looks very unlikely to be available for this game as well. So pretty much the same situation that we were against Barnsley. And with Newcastle there without Callum Wilson, who's been on a bit of form for them. Newcastle have actually been on some decent form. Seems to be the way it goes. These uh, smaller teams who haven't been winning seem to just get on form just before they face us. So fairly convenient, but it is still a game we should win. St. Maximan, however, is back for Newcastle. And we know that when we beat Newcastle 2-0 earlier this season, he was a player that... Um, did cause us, I guess, the most trouble out of all their players. And we'll definitely be looking to um, cause our defence some more madness as well. If I do give you guys a little quick look back at the Barnsley game. Um, basically, as you guys know, I do my player of the season point scoring system. Going to give one point to both Tammy Abraham and Reese James. Abraham by far our best player, but Reese James was the guy that made the difference in the second half. So you guys can see how those scores are tallying up in my review, which will be out tomorrow. So like I said, stay tuned for that. Um, with Tuchel against Barnsley, we did see the 3-4-3 formation to start off with. Some interesting choices. Emerson at left centre-back was an interesting one. Christensen on the right with Zuma in the middle was interesting as well. Um, and um, yeah, just not a great game. Barnsley, to their credit, plays very well. Um, and some of our players didn't. Pulisic and Ziyech basically non-existent in the game. Or I should say more Pulisic or Ziyech. Um, it was quite notable when he would lose the ball quite a lot but Barnsley like I said made it hard with their pressing triangles and when we later changed to a 4-3-3 though um, we did look a bit better that's when we got our goal Barnsley still put the pressure on but I think some good performances from James from Abraham from Zuma as well I think nice to see him back in the team and were crucial to us winning that 1-0 game but does that really affect my thoughts on the 11 that we'll see face Newcastle will we see a 4-3-3 I'm still going to go with not I still think that our system is going to be the 3-4-3 I think against Newcastle Castle, a team that we know are going to sit back and look to counter. This formation has worked well against Wolves, works well against Burnley, Spurs, and, you know, worked fairly well against Sheffield United. Obviously, that was probably our most tricky game out of the ones that I just mentioned, which is hilarious when you consider that I did say Tottenham in that sentence. But, um, yeah, still think it's going to be a 3-4-3. Three, three. I think in goal it's going to be Mendy. Kepper actually decent against Barnsley, made one decent save. However, he did get bailed out at the end by a Tammy Abraham goal line clearance, so he was a bit helped there. But he looked all right. Does that mean he's going to displace Menzi? Obviously not. And the back three I'm going to go for is probably, and as you guys know, this is my prediction, not necessarily what I want to see. I think we're going to see Rudiger, I think we're going to see Christensen, and I think we're going to see Azpilicueta. Christensen came off against Barnsley. Don't know if that was tactical because he got that kick to the head after he got completely bullied by that Barnsley attacker. But, um... Yeah, I just think that's how it's going to be. I think Christensen probably a bit more suited to that central role in the back three. It was interesting to see Zuma in that and Christensen on the right. I don't think Zuma was that bad in the centre and if it was me, I still would pick him. But um, Christensen on the right just didn't really seem to work that well, to be honest. Probably would have swapped those two around. But um, yeah, that's going to be the back three. Just the one that was against, against Tottenham and against Sheffield just seems to make sense. Obviously a shame not to see Zuma. Maybe when we see a system change though to a back four, we'll see him a bit more likely. Um, going into the two wing backs, I am going to go with Marcus Alonso and Reese James. Now part of me wants to see Hudson Adoy as one of the wing wing backs so we can get another attacker more up the pitch. However, I don't think anyone bar one player attacking wise really performed that well against Barnsley. So I do think 
um, that Reese James, he obviously got the assist, made the difference, will start against this Newcastle side. Alonso, he's played pretty well since Tuchel's come in. Do I trust him to carry that on? I'm not too sure, but I still think he could do decent in this game. And he was alright against Barnsley, I thought, and actually defended a fair bit. So um, you can tell when the new manager comes in when Alonso actually focuses a bit more on defending. Whether he keeps that up, though, I'm not too sure. But in the two centre mids, it's going to be a 3 4 3. Um, it's going to be Jorginho and Kovacic. Kante and Gilmore, they were alright against Barnsley. Like I said, Barnsley made it very hard. Um, Gilmore showed a lot of energy. Did lose the ball a fair few times. Um, Kante, not as, I didn't think he was as good as maybe some people suggested. I know he was in some of the um, like polls for Man of the Match. Didn't think he was that great. But um, Barnsley, like I said, just made it very hard. Um, and the midfielders in front of them did not help them at all. But did they do enough to displace Jorginho or Kovacic? I don't think they did. Um, so I think Jorginho and Kovacic, or Jovacic, as some people are calling it, um, will be the ones to start this game. Which, again, is a shame because I would like to see a bit more of a creative attacker in that midfield too. Maybe eventually move Mount in there, but you can't really displace those two yet. Um, going on to the front three, if it's a prediction, I'm going to go with Mason Mount, Callum hudson and um, filling those forward roles, and Timo Werner up front. Werner had a very good game, one of his best games in a while against Sheffield, getting, the, I guess, two assists if you count winning a penalty. Um, personally, if it was me, um, I'd like to see Abraham start. However, do I think Abraham will start over one of those three? No, the only way that I see him starting is if, um, like, we see hudson and at a wing-back role, but that would mean getting rid of Rhys James, so... A bit of an interesting one there. Um, Tuchel with some interesting words on Abraham. They said he sort of has spoke about him more like he's a cup player, which is very, um, which is very strange. I don't know if I'm. I did to be fair, I didn't hear him speak. I've just seen quotes, so I don't really know what's up with that. But um, yeah, I, I'd definitely play Abraham. But if I'm just predicting, I think we'll see Mount Hudson Odoi and Werner at least for the start of the game. However, we know Newcastle can be physical and they will sit deep, so maybe Abraham could be a bit more useful, but we shall see on that one. Um, Ziyech, Pulisic have not done enough um, at the moment to garner a start. Um, a lot of people discussing whether you know they're finished, whether they're worried about them. Um, not very worried about Pulisic, I just think if he gets his um, sort of form on, he'll be good because he is carrying the ball well still, he is still doing his dribbles and um, still got his head up. Um, it's just that... Um, yeah, his decision-making in that sort of final area is um, not great at the moment. Um, Ziyech looking a bit one-dimensional, pressed quite a lot against Barnsley. Maybe just needs to get used to the league, but considering his age, he's maybe a bit more of a worry. But um, yeah, guys, this is going to be my predicted 11. Like I said, we'd like to see Abraham, we'd like to see Zuma as well. But if I'm just going off a pure prediction of what I think Tuchel will play, I think that is probably it. And we know that Tuchel, he likes to go for a bit of experience, probably because this is so results-based at this point. Um, in the season, he can't really risk too much. He can't really try new things. Um, it's all about getting to the top four. You know, him coming in halfway through the season and uh, makes it a bit harder. So um, yeah, and there wasn't many performances against Barnsley which really garnered um, a start for players. To be fair, but do let me know your 11s, guys, in the comments down below. Um, if I'm going to give you guys a predicted scoreline for this game against Newcastle, I think they'll sit deep. We've seen that this Chelsea team is lacking a bit of. Um, a bit of finishing ability. We haven't scored um, more than two goals under Tuchel. Do I think that could um, change in this game? Potentially. I'm not too sure. I think Newcastle will sit back a lot. They could prove to be a challenge like Sheffield. Maybe they've seen how Sheffield played. Um, so I don't know. I think I'm going to go for a 2-0 Chelsea win. Um, yeah, I just don't see us breaking that own goal duct yet. I think the goal scorers, I'll go for a Marcus Alonso goal. Why not? I think he could get his name on the score sheet. And I'll also go uh, for a goal from... Hmm, not too sure. For a goal from Mason Mount... No, I'll go for a goal from Callum hudson Adoy as well. So down the left side, hudson Adoy and Marcus Alonso going to be the two goal scorers in this 2-0 win. But let me know what your score predictions are, guys. Hopefully we pick up the win. Hopefully we see ourselves go back up into the top four where we do belong. So um, yeah, hopefully that happens, guys. If you want that to happen... And um, if you are enjoying these videos, please leave a like and as always subscribe for more Chelsea FC content. A review will be out tomorrow, so be sure to check that out. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time.